let's play Discworld! And hopefully, uh, this configuration of DOSBox will do better than the last one. Though, I somehow doubt it. In any case, because I've had a couple of um, desync tests, I now know what we're supposed to do here. Let's talk to the woman. Ah, yes, alright. Hello. Young man, you will have the honor of first witnessing my new ensemble. I shall now set a trend that will rock the fashion world. Charlie, yeah, suit yourself. What? Suit yourself, I mean, it, it, it might not be your style. And what would you know about it? I never take fashion advice from a man Still wearing funny. a dress. Let's talk to her again. Ah, yes, alright. Hello. Young man, you will have the honor of first witnessing my new ensemble. I shall now set a trend that will rock the fashion world. Come here, suit yourself. What? Suit yourself, I mean, it, it, it might not be your style. And what would you know about it? I never take fashion advice from a oh, man don't. wearing a dress. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That doesn't work. Why have I forgotten how to do this? Alright, let's... Well, at least I suppose it's a hair roller. Hello there! Hmm? Oh, hello! I suppose it's quite a sensuous sort of job then, play... Yep, let's get this all over. Somewhere. I wonder why she smells of brimstone. Is that a curler in your hair? Impudent wretch, of course That's it is! That's what I've Just asking. So, it's uh, definitely a roller then. What? In your hair. A hair roller. Well, of course it is. If it wasn't a roller, then why would it be there? Uh, you wouldn't... Um... Wouldn't what? You wouldn't say it's a bit... A bit, uh, uh, unusual at all? Good heavens, no. Right, you are then. Oh, so you're having your hair set in a traditional style? Traditional? With rollers and curls. Oh, yes, it should look very quaint. Quaint? There well, yeah, we go. Well, well, a busy woman like yourself can't always be expected to keep up with the new trends. What? Don't be absurd. Barbara, I shall have my hair set straight. A very wise choice, madam. Especially as now... Hmm. As now, we'll talk to the barber. Hello there! Hmm? Oh! Let's uh, skip the conversation. Now... Big pocket? On the pocket! So we now have a hair roller. Let's leave before they notice. Now, we also missed something at the fishmongers, which I only thought about afterwards. Go to the fishmonger, and I was looking over this at the time, but I forgot about. It. Mm, cute, if you like that sort of thing. We do. We shall take the picture. Now, well, we've. More or less done with the street now. For the time being. And my timer didn't start, so that's a good start to this. There we are. It's a bit of a long video. If it decides to desync it, desyncs it, all of it. At least it's consistent afterwards. Now, we want to go. Actually, we'll go to the livery stable. And then we'll go back to the alley. The alley has quite a bit in it. Now, there's a sack here. And within the sack, there is some corn. Quite a trim little cart, that. Yes, it is a cart. It is a cart for donkeys. We found the donkey cart. So where are we? Bumper bar. That donkey certainly would need a bumper bar. That doesn't work. Ah, uh, I thought there might be the number on there. Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Well, mm, well we won't risk a donkey. If it turns out to be talking, it'll just be a Shrek reference. Which would be quite good, considering how much earlier this came than Shrek. Okay, we're now in the alley. Where we see an assassin. Hmm. Well, that seems interesting. Now, we're going to take the mirror and put it into Rincewind's luggage. Now... Marilyn Monroe moment.
And we're on the roof. Now, as we can see, there's a chimney sweep up there. Let's talk ah, to him. Good morning, Jimmy. Fine day for it. For what? Oh, for whatever innocent folk like we can find to do up here on the rooftops. Have you ever fallen down? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, tons of times. Well, if you don't want a repeat performance, try shutting up. Ah, the day is coming when people like <laughs> you will have to look up to folk like me. Probably easiest from the ground, then. What? Looking up at you, I mean. Probably easiest when done from the ground. Actually, I, I think I might just get in as little looking up at you right now, in fact. I'll just go down to street level in a quite orderly fashion, then, shall I? Now, there's a sign here. Let's read it. Assassin training track. Well, I suppose they have to be taught somewhere. Now, if we go along here, we can see that there's this ladder. And we now have a ladder. That will be useful a bit later, but for now, there's a tower up here. Let's have a look at the tower. Yes, that will be the tower in the town square. I never did like post-dynastic architecture much. Let's go there. Because we know there's a certain shapely shape on the tower. <sighs> and this is one of my favourite sequences. Ah, it's on that tower. Now that is just okay. stupid. Honestly, stupid. A bit slippery, is it? It's fine, I assure you. Maybe you'd better just spit on your hands. That's going to make it even slippier, isn't it? It might be worth a try. But then I'll slip and die. Is that really so bad? Philosophically speaking. I love it death. It is from where I stand, yes. Death does have its positive aspects, you know. It's easy to do lying down. Also, have you ever considered the saving on food, rent, and clothing? Are you saying that this is my appointed time to die? Well, since you put it like that, no. But I thought, there he is. And I'm happening to be passing, you know. It's a kind of outreach policy. If it's all the same, I'd rather wait. Oh, if you insist. I'll see you later. How much later? Don't start reading any long books. Oh dear. Wizards have the honour, albeit a dubious one, of being claimed personally by death. Not only that, but wizards can actually see and talk with death. Despite rumours to the contrary, he is not a cheery dinner companion. Indeed. He is, however, Palace. what are the... The patrician lives there. Down in the cellars, other people don't live for quite so long. Anyway, yes. Uh, Death is actually one of my favourite characters in the whole Discworld novels. And and there is the dragon. I do wish that creature wouldn't keep looking over this way and licking its chops. Now, you want to use the mirror. You want to use the mirror on the tip of the flagpole. And don't drop your hat. Now, we move back down the flagpole. That doesn't work. And now we look at the dragon. Ah. I do wish that creature wouldn't keep looking over this way and licking oh, no, its no, chops. No, 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 no. Now we used a mirror. There we go. Now, you may wish to run, as far as you can, anyway. Hmm. 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 Ooh! Magnificent! Now get out there and slay them! Ah, sapient pearwood. It's good for that. And now we have our dragon breath. And now we can get out of this place. Brilliant bit of skill here. And now he can leave the tower. 
Now, as I recall, you got to get down one of the chimneys, or do you? Sorry, I'm now trying to remember how to get off the roof. Um, might be a chimney actually. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ah, the march of technology is a fine thing. That doesn't work. Apparently we can't go down the chimney. So let's just go down here. Do, 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 do. Now somewhere... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We go through the window. Ah, that's the one. I thought we went through someone's house to get there. I just wasn't thought it was through a chimney. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> and stealed. Right, now we want to go past that without um, going on the big plate thing. But first... Let's talk to the assassin! Did you get the number of that donkey cart? No, unfortunately it's a bag of um, stuff in a way. Now there's a door here, let's go through it. Now, there's quite a few interesting things here. But first, let's go to the bellows. That doesn't work. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I know we need a few things in here, but I think we have to talk to him for now. The Eureka! I found it. Finally, it works. My octocellulose has been perfected. What works? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing works at all. Oh, go on, you were saying something right now. No, I wasn't. It was all about octo-something. Shh! Not so loud. All right, but wizard's oath on this. You have to swear to keep all this a secret. Oh, all right. Well? Well, what? Well? Let's hear it then. It's a secret oath. I promise I won't listen. No, that's no good. Tell you what, I'll have to say it in mime. Well, you can't say fair Mimes enough. are anyway, evil. Here before you, you see a new age in entertainment. With my new octocellulose, I'll revolutionize the world. Think of it. Pictures that move. Eh? Hey? My fortune is made. Moving pictures will soon be the talk of the age. You've been standing too close to the boiling mercury again, haven't you? Every true genius has his vice. It helps us to get ahead. Putting your head in a vice is the best idea you've had all day. Moving pictures. How does it work? Well, the strips of octocellulose are transparent. When you paint on them and shine light through from behind, it projects a picture onto a wall. You just run the strip through a box filled with gears and springs. It's a bit noisy. Ah, the clicking noise is all part of the atmosphere. What paints the pictures? There's an imp inside this box. All I can uh -huh. do is open up the window and the imp makes the pictures. He paints the frames as fast as I can wind the strips past him. An imp, eh? Hmm. Anyway, what are you going to call this new system? Nah, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, it's easy enough. What is their most unique characteristic? They're moving pictures that click. Well, there you go. Call them that. Of course. Clickies. Thank you. Clickies? <laughs> now, that's a Looks like box. a little home for a very little creature. Now, there's a cable release here. Now... Maybe it's a little home. I think it is. Hmm, I don't think we can do anything here just yet. Unfortunately. But I'm fairly sure we need that imp. Let's take the flask though. That doesn't work. What's in here then? Looks like cooking oil. 
Apparatus, bellows, fireplace. That looks a bit hot. Someone should do something about that. Indeed. I'm just trying to think now. Um, I don't think we can do anything there just yet. Oop, there. Keep closing doors. I don't want to. Right, now let's avoid... Plates. Thank you. And let's go to the exit. Right, where haven't we been yet? We haven't been to the broken drum. Time's up. Uh, a bit more time than I've actually planned for, but still. Let's just head to the broken drum, which will be next time. So, until then. <laughs>